The Saline Creek Pedestrian Bridge Project consists of a single-span steel arch suspension bridge over the Hanging Stone River in Fort McMurray, Alberta. The 1.2-meter prefabricated steel arch is a critical component of the project. The base plate on the arch needs to line up precisely with the steel anchor bolt settings that are embedded in the two concrete cone bases at both ends of the bridge. The embedded anchor assembly is rotated in two directions and had to be constructed to precise tolerances. So we have a complex geometry where the cones that the arch is erected onto are facing off in different directions in space. To account for the complex geometry, Building Information Modeling, or BIM, and Virtual Construction, or VC, processes and tools were used to create a digital model of the concrete base and associated steel arch. These included 3D scanning, 3D printing, and robotic total station surveying. The effective implementation of BIM and VC ensured both steel arch and the concrete cone bases were completely compatible. The biggest innovation was in how we were able to analyze the geometry of the cone, uh, how we were able to ensure everything would fit beforehand, and then using the, the scan to compare the shop drawings against the as-built, again just for that, that verification so that when the lift actually happened, it all happened very smoothly. The biggest challenge of uh, the whole project was to ensure that the pipe arch along with the base plates and the anchor rods matched what uh, PCL did in the field. By creating a digital model of the arch base and the steel arch, the PCL team was able to provide a base model that was used to identify issues early in the construction process. We worked closely with the subcontractor to make sure that their shop drawings matched ours, that uh, their shop drawings matched our as-built condition, and that everything would, would fit together appropriately. On the day of the lift, the project team anxiously watched as the crane lifted the arch onto the concrete cone bases. Once the arch was successfully placed, the team hand-torqued the bolts on both sides of the arch, fastening it in place. After eight hours, the steel arch was secured and the crane supports removed. Today's arch placement went really well. Um, I wasn't on site to see it, but my site inspectors let me know that it went flawlessly. Something this complex to fit that smooth, it, I think, is excellent. You, can, you really can't ask for better. The use of BIM and VC processes allowed the project team to provide a virtual quality tool that added value to the survey, formwork construction, shop drawing development, and rebar detailing and installation on the project. The use of BIM and VC also supported project planning and execution through the early identification and mitigation of risk on a complex project. The use of BIM on this was definitely advantageous. I don't want to say it's impossible to do something like this without BIM, uh, but the geometry was quite complex and, uh, and BIM provided the ability to undertake this with a lot of confidence.